Hey guys, and welcome back to Vagrant Story. In the previous episode, we managed to loop around, explore the new area, beat a couple of big baddies, and we have come back to our workshop to combine all our equipment, heal up, generally be happy. Alright, in today's episode, we shall, shall continue exploration of uh, the areas. We picked up an iron key and if I am not wrong, we have a couple of rooms that can be unlocked with the key. And so let's go and open up and see where those lead. Okay. Uh, save point. We don't need that at the moment. Where does that lead? I don't remember. And the exit is this one. Yep. Alright. Okay, let's, so let's quickly... Whoops, I am equipped with the wrong item. So let's swap out item. Item, item, yes. Equip uh, the undead killer, sweet death. Double check where the lockable rooms are. Unlockable with iron key, unlockable with iron key. Yep, so let's explore this corridor here. Spell Heracles, okay. Armor wants to take a challenge. I can do something about that. First, sorcery, degenerate my the Dularhanda, the evil armor. And now we can take care of this boss with the <laughs> I'm being degenerated. And so, to compensate, let us cast Heracles on myself. And now he's in an even worse position. So, congratulations, armor. Right, uh, we need to head up this way. Take out these quickly. And probably that one too. Uh, Gabara root, fantastic. We have picked up a circle shield. Great. Okay, this should be a room which has been explored totally. Yes, let's move up some more. Okay, we have a save point, a room this way, a room that way. Let's hit this way first. Should I have saved? Mm. Considering the boss... The tendency that this game tends to throw bosses at you, I think I should save like practically everywhere. I think it's just good practice. 
Okay, we cleared that out. Which room have we not opened yet? Uh, nope. Uh, I want map. Yes. I keep getting myself confused. So northward is this way. Snowfly Forest is the entry to here. Okay, so let's open this door. Hope there's nothing too bad waiting for us. Unlocked with the iron key. It is a passage to what the hell is that? Obviously, it's nothing very important if I could kill it that easily, but... Quick work, quick work... I would like that bow gun, please. Uh, Warlock... Let's try Exorcism. This is definitely an undead skeleton. Why is it still zero? Miss. Oh well. Okay, looks like we have a chest. Fantastic. Is there anything else up there? Nope. Okay, let's open up the chest and see what we have in store for us. Picked up. Balin's Revenge, it is a Vambrace, Elixir of Sages, for more Insurgents, fantastic. Alchemist Reagents, restores 25 HP, lowers risk by 25. So it's a little bit of a mix of two potions, which is pretty good. And the Clematis Sigil, unseals the door in the city walls north. Right, let's pick up everything, and get a move on. This is a dead end, so we need to return. Make a quick save because we picked up some stuff. Data save. And save. Fantastic. Alright, we have about 14 hours logged into the game so far. Which included all my downtime of uh, forging new armors, weapons, and shields. Right, let us carry on. Unlocked it with the iron key. Let's go. Okay, so we are now in uh, the limestone quarry. I believe I picked up an item. Which allows me to unlock something in this dungeon, so that's great. Kind of feels like we're actually making progress, so that's good. And a cutscene. Hmm. What the hell is that? It appears to be a water type phantom. Uh, never mind. Sorcery. Let's cast. Silence! Get myself some strength, always good. And now we need to tarnish or degenerate the boss. I think both would be great. Generate and tarnish. The silence works. Silence. Nope. Tarnish. Nope. I help myself then. Avalanche level one. That's a 
about a hundred damage. Ouch! I forgot to use it. Gene, if you maintain that combo, you would have beaten him soundly. Ah, 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 and I died. Okay, but I think the, the answer there is to actually just quickly pile on the damage and uh, maybe use a couple of magic wards. Let's just quickly try again. We are outside the room. No problem there. We'll just pop straight back in. Yep, we are saved right outside, so should we cast our magics before we enter? That will actually... Hmm. Nah. If we want to cast, we have casted it here. Let's... should we? Alright, let's just do it. Then we can jump straight into combat. Heracles, uh, Prostasia, okay, let's go, watch this cutscene already, apparently it's unskippable, oh well. Sorcery Psycho Drain Psycho Drain works alright That may help like, With the damage that has been piling on me So good Aqua Blast Forty-six uh, Sorcery Degenerate Oops, I cancelled down the intelligence. Uh, that's not good. Avalanche level 1 at full intelligence. This is not good. Nice, yes. Magic, magic. I need to psycho drain you again. Intelligence down, okay. And heal up. Heal. I'm not sure how much the spell damage will do to me now that he is dumped down artificially. Aqua Blast. Still painful. Blasting. So far, I guess 
With the dumb down, he really doesn't cast it that much, so giving me more time to focus on actually wailing on this guy. Again? Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Ah, fast. Ah! And I died again. Hmm. Okay, I think I was on the right track, but I'm not too sure what I should do differently. Um, okay, let's drink the potion for intelligence. I totally forgot about Elixir of Sages. Maybe that should help. What am I kidding? Of course it would help. Uh, Elixir of Sages. And perhaps we use a Vera Root strategy. Plus one. Ah well. Beggars can't be choosers. We will use a Vera Root strategy. Keeping our risk down low. And multiple for 25. Pull out the weapon, uh, cast Heracles. With the amount of risk I've actually built up, I think the... The... Difference in damage as when um, the intelligence down didn't really do that much difference, so I will degenerate this phantom instead. Sorcery... Degenerate... Yes... And maybe I'll cast a magic ward on myself. That should be good. Ward. That should uh, protect me for one cycle. Give me a better accuracy. Okay. Be accurate, Gene. You need to survive this. Ah, too fast. This is not working. Maybe a multiple magic ward strategy. That should work. Okay, let's try that. Multiple magic ward strategy. So 
So, magic ward lasts till I cast another spell on myself. So let's magic ward. And then wait for the ma magic to recharge all the way. That should work, right? Yes, I think that is a strategy which can work. Right, so we step in, we use a couple of break arts on him. Keep the risk at zero. Okay, that's not good. 2367. Alright, we'll use Foul Scar a bit here. That's a bit. Keep wailing on him. One more time. Damage, Avalanche level 1, no need to block it first time. Magic Ward will settle that. Uh, okay, so now I want to cast Magic Ward on myself again. Rush up, attack him. Uh, with sorcery. Lead bones. This should increase my accuracy against him by still not doing damage. Um, sorcery. Never mind. We shall do it the manual way. So let us cast um, Invigorate on ourselves and follow up with another magic ward. Sorcery Magic Ward. And now immediately focus all our efforts on beating him down. Pop a magic, uh, magic mana mana. Uh, mana roots. First mana root I've eaten, I think. Quickly cast magic ward on myself. Item effect recharge 100 MP. He did run out, so okay.
quickly re-up the magic ward. Great. Finally, finish him off. At least I hope to finish him off soon. Avalanche level 1, but I've recovered a bit of magic, not too scary. Magic Ward. I'm surviving much longer now, although I have been uh, depending pretty much on Raging King to get through my battles. Yes! So, it took a boost of intelligence from Elixir of Sages. I guess it actually made me a bit smarter in deciding on how to fight against the boss. So, thanks games for making me smarter. Uh, two magic, great. We have the Grimoire Avalanche. Uh, super freezes air around target. I'm not sure they know what Avalanche means. Unless they're talking about the snow flow type. We have an Elixir of Sages. Uh, so more intelligence and an Acolyte's Nostrum which restores 100 HP and MP. So let's grab everything. Okay, heal up quickly while we have a maximum risk. Oh wait, that magic ward, um, yes, never mind. <laughs> Let's heal up quickly and try again. That should be good for now, and use our item. We have the Elixir of Sages. Now, oh, I didn't use the Elixir of Sages in, the, in this current batch. Right, so Intelligence plus 4 and... More Intelligence, more Intelligence, plus 1. So yes, that was the number earlier. No worries. We are smarter item and we have one grimoire avalanche so the next enemy you'll see we'll use that soundly door is locked with the aster sigil so we need to backtrack however i think after that grueling battle and multiple deaths i may end this no, i will end the video series uh, not series episode here so if you are enjoying this video series, please do leave a like, comment and subscribe, helps me out a lot. Alright, so I'll call the video here, so thanks guys for watching. This is Gene, signing off, see you guys in the next video.